almost three years, I've been dreaming of turning this lot of weeds into something beautiful. And today that happened. I have countless memories of Kurt and our family walking to the playground in our previous neighborhood. I can still see him throwing our daughter in the air and catching her. Her insisting on pushing him on the swings and the proud smile on his face the first time she was big enough to climb the stairs and take the slide on her own. I want the opportunity to make new memories like that with my children and for you to do the same with yours. Spaces like this define our communities. So even though he's no longer with us, Kurt will continue to have a positive impact on his community, continue to serve his community, and his legacy will continue to be one that encourages us to make meaningful impacts on those we serve each and every day. This park is a testament to the person Kurt Holland was in our lives and continues to be in our memories. This group of people gathered today proves his lasting impact on the neighborhood, our community, and so many lives he has touched. And it's a fitting tribute to someone like Kurt for his impact on our community. He was a family man and devoted community servant. What better way to honor that kind of person than, than by building a neighborhood park in his honor? I hope you all are enjoying some of the shade. We tried to add as much as we could to make it enjoyable to spend time out here. The pour in place rubber flooring is low maintenance, wheelchair accessible, and will keep your child from bringing home a pile of wood chips in their shoes. The shaded benches are solar powered and have working USB outlets for the work from home, now work from park parents. I hope you and your children love this park as much as I do and that it is used for years to come. From the bottom of my heart, thank you all.